Hello and welcome to our video guide on using Films on Demand from the librarians at Southwest College. Films on Demand is a multi-subject database that contains thousands of academic videos. You can find high-quality educational and instructional videos that are geared towards the needs of college students. In Films on Demand, you can find videos that show you how to do something and videos that provide you with an overview of an academic topic or a subject. You can use this resource for yourself if you want to prepare before you start a class for your own knowledge and interest, or if you need to access it for a course. As a student, you have unlimited access to the content in this database. Let's navigate to the source. First, start off by going to the college's webpage, which is www.lasc.edu. Scroll down this page and click on the library icon. This takes you to the library's landing page. Scroll down this page and from the left navigation menu, click on A to Z list of library databases. This takes you to an alphabetical list of the library's databases. Scroll down the list and locate the link for Films on Demand and click on it. You will be asked to log in. For the username, enter your student ID number. For the password, enter the month and day of when you were born. For example, if you were born on March 8th, then your password would be 0308. Then click on Login. Once you access Films on Demand, you can browse the videos that are being featured on the home page. You can also search for the videos by going to the search bar located on the top search box or you can browse the videos by subject. To browse the videos by subject, go to the menu icon located on the top bar, then click on View All. Here you can find the videos arranged by broad category and then subcategories. Then you just click on a subject and you can browse the videos. As you're looking at your search results, you're going to see the thumbnail of the video on the left. Then you're going to find the title of the video. You can also find a short description and the publication date. You can also click on the preview link and the video will open up and from here you can preview the full video. You can continue scrolling down until you find the video that you like. Be sure that you take a look at the date of publication to make sure that the video is appropriate for what you need. You can also search for a particular video. To search, go to the top search box and enter your search terms. For this example, I'm going to look for videos on the Bill of Rights. So I'm going to type in Bill of Rights on the top search box. Then I'm going to click on the search button. The first thing that I notice is that the videos are sorted by relevance. From here, I can change the sorting to either newest to oldest or oldest to newest or in alphabetical order. I can look at my search results. I'll take a look at the title. I'll take a look at the description. I will pay attention to the information next to the video title, which tells me whether it's a segment or if it's the full video. I will also look at the description of the video and the date of publication. Once I determine that this is a video that I would like to watch, I can either click on the thumbnail of the video or I can click on the title. Now I am in a page with more information about this particular video, which also contains the video player. I can just click on the play button and the video will start playing. I can also turn on the closed captioning. I can also click on full screen so that I can watch the full video in full screen mode. To exit, I'm going to use my keyboard and press on the escape key and that takes me back to the page. Under the video player, I can find the share tools. You can click on cite and you can find citation styles for the most common citations that are used in community colleges. 
From here, you can copy and paste the citation and put it into your paper. Just be sure that you correct any errors. On the right side of the video player, I can find the segments and I can also locate the transcripts. Then I can go back to my search results and continue to explore additional titles or search for more videos. This has been a short introduction to using Films on Demand. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to one of your librarians. Thank you for watching the video.